very good morning and welcome back to the channel it is so good to be back outside back into nature back in the countryside out with a camera shooting some local landscapes it's been 74 days since i was last out with the camera due to the the lockdown and the inability to get out for any recreational activity so i'm absolutely delighted to be back out this morning so good uh, not the best of mornings weather wise uh, but we're going to have a go and see what images we can capture today it's sort of a bit moody um we've got a bit of blue sky a bit of gray sky a bit of sunshine peeking through every now and again the wind is blowing a little bit um i was hoping to get some reflections on this little tarn here but uh, to be fair we've got quite a few ripples drifting over the pond and it's not playing ball really so um, but anyway we'll see what we can get i'm outside not been out as i said for over 10 weeks now the last time i was out was december 2020 and just to be back outside get getting the camera out just feels so good so anyway let's see what we can capture so for this first shot i'm looking to get a shot straight out over the tarn looking at the silver birch tree you might recognize this from my previous videos out here on the moss this one uh, was the image entitled snow ballet it's a beautiful silver birch tree and it's great to be shooting it again here some 10 weeks later in different conditions different light and a different time of the day so settings wise i'm focusing on the base of the tree at f11 i'm going to take two exposures one for the bright sky and one for the less exposed reflection in the water and i'll blend those together post-production i'll just take that image now and we'll see what that one comes out like Yeah, still quite a few ripples on the water, but uh, a bit of moodiness in the sky. So we'll see what that one looks like. I'm just going to take a step up the bank, move slightly higher up. So I've got this lovely grouping, this family gathering of trees around the water's edge, the lovely silver birch, and there's quite a lovely moody sky, which I'm trying to include in this image. I'm just zooming in. So we've got the tarn in the bottom third with the horizon hopefully just about on that lower thirds line capturing much of the sky and the moodiness those dark clouds and the contrast between the gaps the white and the dark so we'll take that image and uh, see how that one comes out Again, I'm taking multiple exposures. So this one's at a 50th of a second. And then if we go up into the highlights of the sky, that one's at one 500th of a second. And I'll take some in between and again, blend those together. It might actually be a black and white. I'm not 100% sure yet. But with those contrasting clouds, the light and dark in the sky, and not much colour in the foreground, just those sort of, I don't know what colour they are really, sort of orangey. Anyway, we'll see.
So I'm just trying to get another viewpoint on my snow ballet silver birch here. Get the camera lower down. Get some of these reeds in the foreground leading up to the trunk of the silver birch and then off up into the sky. It's a beautiful tree, I really do like this tree. Um, probably a bit too much blue sky this morning uh, and definitely too much of a breeze. The ripples on the water aren't making for a very attractive scene but I'm going to take the image anyway so you can see what it looks like. Here comes a mallard. Uh, I'm going to take that image anyway, see what it looks like. Settings wise, I'm at f11. Focused about a third of the way into the image. And again, multiple exposures, which I'm going to blend again in Lightroom. So I've had the 2470 lens on this morning so far, but for this scene where I want the silver birch here on the right hand side in the image and I want the two silver birches over here on the left hand side at 24 mil, I can't just get both of those in at either side. So I've switched to my 10 to 24 mil lens. Zoomed into about, let's have a look, 20 mil to get those in and that captures the reeds in the foreground here as well oh wow that's good so mr cook if you're watching that is quite a moody sky So it really has been fantastic to be back outside. As I said, it's been over 10 weeks since I was last out with a camera and I've been getting used to learning how to use it again and to, to doing the vlogs again. It's all a, a relearning experience, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been great to get back outside, back into nature, into the countryside and doing some landscape photography. Can't travel further afield until currently after March the 29th. So any future films will be definitely shot on a local basis. This last week's been atrocious. We've had 40 mile an hour winds. The rain has been absolutely bucketing it down. It's been atrocious to get out and this morning's been the best of the mornings. Not the most fantastic light, not the best conditions, but like I said, it's just so good to be back out practicing the craft, shooting some local images and landscapes. So I do hope you've enjoyed this morning's short film. Thank you ever so much for joining me, as always, on my travels. So on that note, everybody stay safe, take care, do look after yourselves. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.